So we got news coming out of the basketball world. Everybody know Caitlin Clark has been on fire these past couple of days, especially after uh, Kennedy Carter hip checked her and she went flopping or whatever. But Angel Reese feels like we should give her credit as well for changing the WNBA. I'm going to play this audio and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts. I think so many people are watching women's basketball right now. Yeah. It all started from the national championship game. I've been dealing with this for That's true. Now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me. But honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like, just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like, I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too, and I want y'all to realize that. Like, it's not just because of one person. A lot of us have done so much for this game, and Kennedy has been here before, obviously, but there are so many great players in this league that have deserved this for a really, really long time, and luckily, it's coming now. So... That's honestly a lot of feelings that the, a lot of the WNB players are harboring. Now, let me just start out with Angel Reese. She's absolutely one of the reasons. If Angel Reese didn't do the, some people say John Cena, but it's really Tony Ayo. Do the Tony Ayo in front of Caitlin Clark, it might not have been as big. And that's what started putting the spotlight on. Then when she came out and said she's doing it for girls who look like her. So she absolutely is one of the reasons, and we absolutely should give her flowers. And I know on this platform, I've made several videos appreciating what she did even before she got to the league. But we all know Kayla Clark is relatable to a lot of people, a lot of people who normally would not watch women's college basketball and, and even the WNBA. So the fact that they both played against each other in the national title game and then again, going to the last year or this past season, going to the final, the game was going to go to the final four when they did a rematch. That was lightning in a bottle. And that's what the WNBA needed. You need a dancing partner. One person don't change it. And that's what I think, that's where her frustration is coming in. But no, trust me, Angel, you're getting your flowers as well. It's just a different way. You know, she's the, she's the pop star. You know, but you got, you're the kindred. You got the respect. Everybody knows. Come on now. Everybody's seen that you made the WNBA be more girly again to where you could be in your femininity and dress good and, and all of that. Because I remember before when women would do, you know, try to do mo modeling and all of that, they would get hated on by their own peers. But now you made that acceptable. You made the WNBA draft look more acceptable and relatable because... You know, a lot of these girls now walk around with dresses and skirts on. They might more, more, more or less consider playing basketball, which y'all know how the basketball WNBA was ran prior to all of this. So looking back in 20 years, you absolutely would be one of the reasons. And again, Angel's in a she's in a great spot. She's in Chicago, a city with more people that's relatable. It's a big market team. So she's going to get her flowers. It's just I get it. The corporate media, you know, their narrative is just to push the golden goose caitlin clark but don't get it twisted you know she respected over here as well people love angel reese people love her and she will see the fruits of her labor within the next five to ten years and also one more thing you know angel reese opened up the door for juju Watkins, you know who's only a freshman will be a sophomore playing next season so trust me the league is going to be in great shape and again i say to a lot of players listen when it comes to the nba most people didn't see Will Chamberlain play. Most people didn't see Bill Russell play. Most people didn't see a Bob Cousy or George Mike. Now, again, were they Hall of Famers? Absolutely. Can't take it from them. But the eyes wasn't on them at that time. But that doesn't take away their greatness. But if they would have been playing in this era, <laughs> they might have had a several hundred million dollars added to their net worth. And that's just the way that life is. But no, Angel Reese, she 100 thousand percent deserve her flowers and i'm gonna make sure i give it to her over here on this platform but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think